Hello, Reborn family. Welcome back. So I was sitting here working on a few things and I thought I would come on and say hello and show you guys what I'm working on, my little projects here. Um, I did a couple new pacifiers. I did the first layer on the bottles that I was telling you guys about. And I actually wanted to show you guys what I use to remove the... Um, The part of the pacifier you know that has the decoration on it i was going to show you guys what i use to remove that so like you know like the picture or whatever that's on the pacifier what i've noticed is that these these cheaper ones that you get like at dollar general or dollar tree these are super easy to get off with the stuff that i use now nook i haven't been able to remove with this and like the, the higher uh, priced pacifiers, I have not been able to remove the picture off of. You could sand them. Uh, I use a fingernail file, like a really rough fingernail file. And there's one right there. Uh, just because it's easier for me to hold and it's smaller instead of using sandpaper. You could use sandpaper and just file it off. But I like the size of these uh, and I, I think they really fit some of the baby's faces really well. So anyway, the, the, the cheaper ones are definitely easier to remove. And I removed the label. This is actually an advent and I tried to use the stuff that I use and it removed it, but it was going to take a lot of, I didn't have to remove it. I was just trying. It was removing it, but it was, it's really going to take a lot of elbow grease. But on this one, this is just a Winnie the Pooh one. Uh, I don't even, I think it's just like a, I don't, I don't think there's even a brand on it. It did remove the stuff. So, uh, the picture on it, but this is what I use. This is, I also use this to strip my babies. This is, uh, Windsor and Newton. Uh, brush cleaner and restorer. I start my babies with this. I start my pacifiers with this. You can find this at Michael's and it's weird. It took me forever when I first was looking for it because I, in the sections that I thought it was, it would be in, it wasn't. It, this is actually by the paintbrushes at Michael's. So I'm going to show you how I remove the pictures off things. So it takes a little bit of elbow grease, but it does work. See, that's how I'm able to do my pacifiers. Crazy, huh? Of course, I'll, you know, I'll clean it off, but he's gone. <laughs> so that's how I remove the pictures off my bottles and pacifiers. Um, in fact, while I'm at it, let's see if we can. If you've got the elbow grease, you know, it'll. It just takes a minute because it's got like that clear coat on it. So you have to get past the clear coat. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how I stumbled across it. I think I was, I, at first I was, um, see, there we go. That easy. I was, I was sanding them at first and then painting them. And all of a sudden I was sitting here and I'm like, that stuff would take off these pictures and I just was like doo -doo -doo -doo. oh <laughs> I guess it does so I've been using it ever since I actually need to get some more it's it's not super cheap but uh that's lasted me for a long time so anyway that's how I remove those and I'll probably do something with this too with this one and uh as far as like my my decorative um bottles 
uh, or my tumbler bottles. <laughs> um, I'm going to do something probably with this one too. I, I'm either going to put, I don't know if I'll do the glitter. I'll probably do something else with this one kind of along the same lines, but, uh, I have some, I did the others definitely you could use these, but I am going to do this bottle with dollar store glitter. Uh, and I just used the silver on this one. It's drying right now, but um, this is just the first coat. So I, like I said in my uh, new project video, our new idea, uh, I am, I'm not gonna get the epoxy just yet, uh, the epoxy. I'm not gonna do that just yet. They have a spray that is kind of the same thing. It's not, you know, it's not exactly the same thing, but for my first couple ones, I'm probably just gonna, you know, tape this off and spray them with that. So we'll see what that looks like when I'm done, but this is just the first layer. So there's several layers to go. And like I said, I'll do something with this one as well. So I was just kind of working on that. And I wanted to show you some of these new pacifiers I did. I did this one, I put a little sun on it. I thought it was cute with the handle being yellow. Uh, I did this one here, beautiful uh, light green, like a pastel green. Um, I don't remember if I showed this one to you guys. Uh, I did this one. I don't know how I feel about this one. Just looks like a big flower, but I thought it was kind of cute if it was just like in their mouth. I thought it would be kind of cute. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this to you guys. This one here. Um, I think I showed you the rest of them. Did I show you this one? Just the little heart. And then this one here. Just the flower. Uh, puppy. So those are just my easy ones that I'm, I have these flat backs I'm, I'm trying to get rid of. But uh, if you are interested in any of these, let me know. You can email me or if you're on my Instagram, you can send me a message and um, I'm, I'm going to keep making them because I have all these pacifiers <coughs> that I have like doubles of or that I don't want anymore. And I'm, that's what I'm doing is I'm stripping the things off of it and I'm just going to keep making them until I guess run out of supplies. <laughs> so if there's something in particular that you're wanting, um, a certain look you're wanting, just let me know and I will totally make it for you. Uh, so I'm excited about my, my little, my bottles here, my little tumbler, tumbler bottles. Eventually, I think if I really get into it and I really start looking, uh, going further with it and you guys really like it and it's something that you guys are interested in, I'll start making its own, um, their own racks and stuff. Uh, I have the one that I keep my babies on, but I don't want to mix the two just because it's a lot of, it's kind of a chemical thing and there's glitter and stuff. And so I'll have one, I'll have a rack separate for the bottles that I do. And then, you know, the baby. So I, at some point I'm going to have to get a bigger desk. <laughs> I'm really wanting like an L shaped desk. Um, but you know, until then I'll have to deal with just putting it on. This is just like a plastic baby bank and I keep my my sponges in there for painting and so I thought oh that'll fit just right while it dries so hopefully before I lay down before work my nap before work uh, I'll be able to do another coat on there and then seal it with the Mod Podge and hopefully sometime this week I'll be able to go and get the spray to seal it and I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this one I don't know yet uh, I was looking at the temporary tattoos and I may try to do one of those on here. I don't know. I really kind of wanted to try a metal bottle for the temporary tattoos just because I like the look of it. But I thought, you know, I may try to do a temporary tattoo on here. So anyway, um, I hope you guys liked our shopping video last night. I know it was really long and I even cut some stuff out. <laughs> 
I have so much fun with Poppy and we actually came back and I, I actually did some of these pacifiers. Uh, Poppy makes bracelets and she uh, was over there doing her craft and I was over here doing my craft and we were, we had Winnie the Pooh or something playing on the TV. So, you know, she doesn't know a lot of people. I don't think that really know how to, that really craft a lot like I do. So I think it was just kind of fun us doing that here together. And, um, we hung out two nights in a row and it was really nice just to have company over. I don't have it too often. I think with uh, my bipolar routine is is pretty big for me. I like routine. I like consistency. But sometimes it's nice to, you know, step out of the routine for a second. <laughs> so um, anyway, I also wanted to let you guys know that my mom has her surgery uh, booked or scheduled booked. <laughs> like it's a good thing. Um, her her surgery is scheduled for March 11th and um I'm I already told work that I went off the night before so then I'm nice and rested and I can take her or you know whatever she needs <clears throat> and I'm also going to be staying with her a night or two she thinks that she's really not going to need me more than maybe a night or two we'll see we'll see how she does my mom's pretty strong she had kidney, she had surgery with her kidneys or whatever, and she just bounced right back. So, you know, she may only need me for a night or so. She's, you know, it's, it's, she's decided to go not so major surgery at this point. So it's not going to be as, as bad of a surgery as she originally had decided. She's changed her mind. So, um, so yeah, I'm I I'm glad that that's finally scheduled and um you know, <laughs> it'll she'll have that my poor mom will have it over with. So yeah, just you know, keep her in your thoughts and uh, I'm sure that, you know, everything'll be fine. But, you know, I'm going to be a wreck until it's over. <laughs> a nervous wreck, but it was nice to hang out with Poppy last night and do something fun. I, I ended up just getting uh, Maya something. I know I was, I picked up several things and I kept going, well, well, it was like I liked it, but I didn't love it. And I'm trying to get myself away from buying things that I like and buying more things that I love. And I just thought this was too cute. So I had to get this for her. And it's this romper here. So cute. This is by Carter's at three months. But look at the back. I love the little opening in the back. I can see her cute little back in there. So, and the colors are just precious. So I got that. Oh, that's all I got. Other Well, and I got uh, a few shirts for myself. <laughs> um, even, even Poppy was like, I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't, you know. Maybe you shouldn't get, and she was like, you need to spend money on yourself. She's like, you never do that. And I'm like, I know, I know I don't. It's usually has to do with the babies. And, uh, a lot of my clothes are worn at work. So pretty much 90% of what I have is for either one of my jobs. So I did buy myself a couple of shirts. Uh, they weren't, you know, of course they're Burlington. So they're, they were wonderfully priced and, uh, you know, their name brands. So yeah, I was, that's, you know, just a little something I did for myself. Typically I'm a Walmart shopper, or, you know, jogging pants and whatever. So I did go and get myself a couple tops. And so, but you know, I'm just going to keep looking. I'm really picky about Dallas and, um, what I get for him. I don't know why. Uh, I just, I, when I see him, I see a certain style and I guess I just don't want to settle for just anything. And, you know, I, I've been doing so good with getting, like, you know, really getting my nursery down to just the things that I love. And, like, I, I've been sitting here with my pacifier collection, which, if you've been following me for a little bit, I did do a video on that. And that's where a lot of these pacifiers that I'm doing are from. I've really dwindled it down. It's still pretty massive, though. <laughs> so, I, I keep... 
I keep going over there and being like, okay, let's look at them again. And I'll look at it and go, do I love it or do I just like it? And then I, you know, I throw it in in a basket, a separate basket. So I've been kind of digging through there and like, okay, you know, what do I want to strip? And so I've been, I stripped a, a several of these. I had a bunch of, um, I had some that I really didn't love and a couple that I had repeats of. So I did a couple of these. These are the ones that you can get at Dollar, Dollar General or Family Dollar that have the camo on them. And I did strip these down. I had a pink and a uh, blue and a pink one. So I did strip those off. That was a little, I had to rub a little bit on that one. Um, so, and then I have the, you know, the one I just did. And I have this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I haven't, it's an odd shape and it's sort of boyish. So I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with that yet. Um, and then I'm debating, I like this one. I kind of want to put it on Dallas, but it says way, uh, way beyond cute with a little spaceship. So I don't know. I've been sitting here looking at this one. <laughs> Slow one's going to sit here for a little bit. <clears throat> it is absolutely gorgeous outside, which would be a perfect day for me to sit here and paint. But it always seems to come on the days that I have to work. So um, I, uh, for my new subscribers, welcome. And I work graveyard shift. I work in a group home with people with mental and um, physical disabilities. And because I work third shift, I, I actually work about 39 hours, 40 hours and three days. So I literally work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep. Um, and on Sundays, starting Saturday night, I try to stay up as late as I can. I get up super early. So I've been up since 630 and I lay down like 12 or one o'clock and I sleep until I have to get up, take a shower and leave for work. So it always seems to fall these every once in a while, really nice days that we have where I could bake and paint fall on the days that I can't do it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's why I thought I would uh, kind of start my pacifier or my bottles and uh, finish some pacifiers and uh, you know I'll maybe uh, do a few things, but I'm not going to be able to bake. <laughs> uh, I had a, a kind of a rough morning, I think, um, because of my routine was off. I think it kind of threw me off a little bit. So, you know, it was kind of a rough morning, uh, but, you know, I had my coffee and I'm doing a little bit better. And I thought, you know, I'd come on and show you guys the beginning of my, you know, little, my new little project. I think for the first coat, it looks pretty good. I think they said, oh gosh, yeah, it's already almost dry. So I'm supposed to go in and pat it, I guess and like pat the glitter down and then go back in with a second coat, do another layer of um, glitter and then do another top coat and then spray it, I believe. Don't quote me. So we'll see, we'll see how it turns out and I will definitely show you guys. And I think I'm going to go on Amazon and see what kind of temporary tattoos that I can put on this. Um, I think I'm going to make my little vampire baby a cute little, a little bottle with something cool on it. I have some things saved. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hello. I also wanted to tell you guys that uh, Brentley, who is the last baby that I painted, she has received her baby and her mom has sent me a fantastic email. Thank you so much if you're watching for that wonderful email. It really just made me feel so great and it just, it made my day. It really did. Just such a lovely email and I'm so glad that you guys love her and love everything and that you will definitely be a repeat customer. I really, really appreciate it. It was such a nice, nice email. So um, 
yeah, so I'm so glad to hear that. And, you know, yeah, it was, it, it was very nice. And so glad that you guys are happy with her. And anything else? I can't think of anything else. So just wanted to come on and say hi. And you guys know I'm, uh, I'm usually not on for a couple days. So I definitely will be on, I'm going to try my best to be on Wednesday night. And maybe I'll do a live. If you guys want to see a live, you want to come on to a live Wednesday night, let me know. I am working at Judy's Thursday and Friday because of my mom's surgery in the next week. So I'll do my best to come on. Those are, that's going to be pretty rough on me to do two days back to back with her because of what she has me doing right now. So I'll do my best uh, to come on in those days, even if it's just like to say hello and have one of the babies. Um, so yeah, just let me know if, oh, and I also wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all your fantastic comments on, um, the video I did about the things I had to say. I really appreciate that. And I read all of them. I know I have not, I, I did make sure that you guys knew that I read it and I, you know, I, I liked them. I haven't responded back yet just because I've been busy doing stuff, but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all your wonderful comments. And I, I not only felt like I needed to tell you guys about where, I, I think I felt like that was something that I needed to do. One, so you guys could know me a little bit better. And because of the things that were sparking up with the article. <clears throat> so I didn't tell you the things that I told you because of the article. I think it just got me thinking that people probably wonder these things or it would be information that you guys might want to know to get to know me better. And it's not anything that I hide. I'm not ashamed of any of it. And I feel like if anything that I've experienced will help somebody make them feel better or that they're not alone, I have nothing to hide. So you know, I, 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 that's, that's why I wanted to make that video. Uh, so, you know, and kind of give my point of view on the video a little bit more detail than I did before. So I just, I really appreciate you guys and all your comments. And I just, I'm so lucky to have a reborn family like you guys. And, uh, I just wanted to tell you that. So you guys have a wonderful couple days and I will see you soon. You take care of you.